Doctor Who spin-offs are in production. Well done on working on those, Harry. Thank you. Um, num- number one, the first show coming back is uh, this new show. It's called Big Sluggers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Russell T. Davis has done an interview, hasn't he, Harry? But the one we're focusing on right now is about Russell's plans to kind of expand Doctor Who in the age of streaming. Is that how he said it? Now we're in the age of the streamer. I watched the Star Trek Empire with vast envy, the way that's turned itself from an old archive show into something fantastic. The cast is so progressive, so good, so beautiful. And very cleverly, I think Star Trek is reaching out to making something like 52 episodes a year. So that's your yearly show. Genius. So I thought, with no criticism whatsoever towards the people who were running it at the time, because they are running it within the BBC's measures, it was time for the next stage for Doctor Who. Hold it there, Russell. Let's talk about that before we go any further. Okay. Hi, Russell. Hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi, I'm, I'm Russell T. Davis. Do you, did you not think that the series was very good after you left? Well, he said that, like, the... He said. You said. He said that the spin-offs declined you when said. he left. You said. Yeah, Russell. But, oh, yes. Apparently, when I when I stopped being so closely involved yeah. with... Um, <laughs> when I stopped being so closely involved with Sarah Jane Adventures and Torchwood, yeah, the shows took a bit of a decline. Why do you think that was? Well, the funds weren't there. I just said that. Funny became <laughs> scarce. I think he was a fan of how Chris Chibnall was running the show. Torchwood or Doctor Who? Doctor Who. You think? Yeah. You think? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it to come out like that. <laughs> what spin-offs do you think he's talking about? Do you think they're going to be revivals of spin-offs? New spin-offs? I can't imagine that he's going to bring back... Well, obviously he's not going to bring back Sarah Jane Adventures. Why? Because Elizabeth Sladen has died. That's a good point. Yeah. Were you expecting a different answer there, Tim? I was. I just wondered what your reasons were. Well... That's my reason, Tim. <laughs> um, and then Tortured, I just feel like... Okay, this is my thinking. He's used examples... Who's so... talking now, you or Russell? Me. Which Harry. <laughs> Harry Murdoch is talking. Right, okay. And Harry Murdoch feels... On um, behalf of Russell. Yeah. That he's... That Russell seems to be looking, in terms of wanting to build an expanded streaming universe... Those shows, sh- the programs that they and films and whatever that they develop usually have more or less the exact same target audience. Pretty much every Star Wars show is aimed oh, at the same mean, people. Yeah, Pretty yeah. much every Marvel show is aimed at the same thing. And Torchwood was not aimed at quite the same audience that Doctor Who was aimed at. It was so, it- so do you think we're going to get spin-offs that are aimed at Doctor Who fans or spin-offs that are aimed at different demographics? I th- I think that any Doctor Who spin-off is going to be aimed very much at Doctor Who fans and the most mainstream of Doctor Who That's fans. That's us. That's us. He's making shows for us. I mean, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'm not... Me, personally, I'm not that fussed about spin-offs. I care more about the main show itself being good. But for the sake of making a good thumbnail... What spin-offs would you like to see? Oh, okay. So, does it count if you just put, like, crosses on characters? Yes, I can do that as well. I don't want Daleks or Cybermen. No, so no monster spin-offs. I don't want me, no, because the monsters work best when they're operating opposite the Doctor as a foil for the Doctor to stop. Um, That's funny, because in the old days, most of them were made out of foil. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, Zingo. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> I feel like companion spin-offs would make sense. Do you think they could adapt to any big Finnish stuff, like Rose Tyler, Earth Defender? Um, yeah. Because Billy said if it was filmed in London, she'd do it. I mean, you could do that, but then there's the whole thing of, if you do that, then you need to, an excuse for why 10-2 isn't there. If, there, if there's a like spin-off to, if they want to bring back class, I swear to goodness. <laughs> Anything and everything about the 8th Doctor. The Eighth Doctor? Uh, maybe. It's a weird one wanting to make shows. Well, he's the best Doctor. Have you not listened to his audio adventures? I've heard very... We haven't, Harrison. No, we have not. <laughs> oh, no way. Harrison was just here? Yeah, Where'd Harrison. Where'd he go? Harrison, come back. Growing up Sarah Jane adventures. As in kids. the kids? I don't know. I don't know if like, there's too tenuous a link between that and the main show. A Donna Noble spin-off. Doing what? Catherine Tate will be making a return to Doctor Who alongside David Tennant. 
but is she a formidable woman? But but she is a formidable woman, and a franchise and a fascinating character in her own right outside of the Doctor, a Donna Noble centric series which just focuses on her being sassy, clever, and bold in everyday life outside of the Time Lord in a blue box would be an endlessly entertaining. Okay, I've just come up with a really good idea. Here's, well, okay, tell me me all your own. You do, yeah. Mi- uh, like, uh, Mrs. Brown's boys knock about sitcom in front of a live studio ad- audience about the, the noble family. Written by Catherine Tate? Yeah, but you couldn't have Wilf. Well, no, so that's like half Next, the appeal yeah. gone. Whatever happened to... Oh, sorry, what was yours? Well, here's my thing with companions. The reason that, like, companions work in the show is because they're playing off the Doctor, they give humanity to the Doctor. Companions by themselves are far less compelling than they are when put opposite a Doctor. Whatever happened to K-9? Uh, he went to Australia. <laughs> Whether a mini-series <laughs> spin-off or a single short episode featuring the beloved metal dog, fans adore K-9. We have the K-9 show, we have a K-9 show. Imagine the camera following the dog as he tottles along we a busy London street. We don't need to street. imagine. We have the passes, K-9 show. Passes by looking back in confusion as he rolls on by. We already have a K-9 show. I don't know if it's canon or not, That's but we it. have the Australian K-9 show. 